Today's video we start with a hydration chart. Am I hydrated? Aim for clear urine at least 10 times a day. Eat a diet rich in fresh fruits and vegetables. Drink a quart of water before meals. Thank you. So I'm down at the bottom of Norton Summit. This is a 5.6 kilometer climb. It's uh, what we call horse category locally. <laughs> but seriously, Norton Summit, one of the most popular climbs in the world. I'm waiting for a bunch to come past and I have the GoPro on. I'm gonna tack on the back of the bunch. I'm gonna break it down the climb, what happens, when to attack, when to stay. Let's do it. So welcome to a little tutorial on how to use a power meter. There's my little face saying good day. I'm gonna jump on the back of this bunch. This is Norton Summit, South Australia, November 2013. Fast bunch. Look at them. Already smashing it at the start. So we're gonna use a power meter on this one. Gonna jump on the back of this little train. These guys are very fit very fit bunch here some of the fittest cyclists in south australia and they climb exceptionally well you can see the right at the back already got good cadence good cadence very fast bunch we're zooming up this climb this climb is about 5.6 kilometers long it's around five six percent gradient and it's called norton summit so i'm sitting on the back here got the gopro camera on i'm riding my giant tcr i've got a stages cycling power meter fitted and I'm using my Garmin 800 to record the data. Now I'm sitting off the back here. Ideally, I should be, I should be right up there. But I'm just checking out the camera, saying g'day again. So the guys are pushing a little bit too fast, I think, on this section. The, the wattage was a bit high. Ideally, for a better pace climb, you want to drop it back and have an even split. So we're doing four. I'm, do, I'm doing 400 watts here, approximately. So about 400 watts, and I'm 66 kilos. So definitely, these guys are going too fast for a really good time up here you can see the right on my left here very smooth very efficient high cadence looking good man to watch a man to watch you can see up there the guy out the saddle looks like alan gill very experienced rider pretty sure he went to the world champs back in the 80s quite experienced rider i would suggest my critique of his form where he pushes the big ring he pushes the 53 all the time up the climbs i would like to see him spin it more and he would, in my opinion, get more power to the rear wheel. Because right now he's talking the, the cranks, but he's not getting the power because his, his cadence is still a little bit too slow off feel. That's my suggestion there. But if Al got a stages power meter on his 9,000 cranks, he would be able to see what I mean. The guy in front of me, directly in front of me, high cadence there. Looking good, looking good. Another good ride. All these guys are very fit. Exceptionally fit athletes. There's not many people that can uh, go fast and a lot of these guys up climb. You can see this guy here on the right. He's coming back. He's on the Cannondale Evo. Quite a large chap, but he has an extremely large cardiovascular system, you can tell, because he's quite heavy, but he's still keeping up with us. He's still putting out the power. So his, his cardio system is quite impressive. You see on the left here, we're passing some cyclists. <laughs> we're past them like they're standing still. That's what I mean, these guys are fit. This is a fit bunch. If you want to get fit, you got to train with fit riders, 100%. You're not going to get fitter hanging out with people you can beat. Passing more cyclists. Look at them. It's like they're standing still. So we're just zooming past. We're just zooming past. Ideally, I should be closer drafting, but I want to get the good camera view. This hill today, good conditions, not much wind, so pretty pretty good conditions for a fast time. And now the, the pace is starting to get a bit more bit more frisky some of the guys up the front are getting frisky they're getting excited the first hairpin's coming up and now you can see the pace line is going into single file that's how you tell a bunch is going fast when riders are two abreast they're going easy when it's single file it's all out it's strung out so this is good training this is awesome training this is what i live for it's really good fun good workout in the fresh air look at those trees all that fresh oxygen it's fantastic in the Adelaide Hills, best training grounds on earth. So you can see the rider on the on the back there, still good cadence, very smooth, relaxed upper body, good breathing, good cadence. The man to watch, in my suggestion. The big guy is still doing well. He's probably doing the best out of anyone. I'd say his cardio system would be the best out of all of us because for him to be able to push that much mass up a hill 
for so long, that indicates an extremely advanced cardio system. So if you got him on the high carb vegan diet and he lost 30 kilos, he would be just incredible, just insane. So he's obviously gifted with some good genetics and he also knows how to push himself. So that's, that's a good uh, good suggestion. And that's the beauty of the power meter. The power meter doesn't lie. So I can be looking down at my watts and looking at someone else and going, wow, if they lost a few kilos, they would be fucking stomping it, stomping it. So the power meter is the only way you can accurately assess your performance. Heart rate doesn't matter. Average speed, average speed means fucking nothing. Because you can be tailwind, headwind, whatever. Average speed means nothing at all. Heart rate, eh, heart rate shows you how you're responding. Power actually shows you what you're fucking doing. So power is the most accurate thing for a cyclist to use to show them what am I doing? What am I doing? What have I done? Am I getting fitter? And what do I need to do to get fitter? So I'm looking at the wattages here and we've dropped it down to about 300 now. It's pretty good watts. I'm still sitting on the back. The pace is still going well. So I'm, ha I'm happy to sit here on the back just watching things unfold as they are. We're about just over a third of the way up the climb. And you can see up the road, there's two riders that have just attacked. They've just attacked. If you, We'll see that in a second. But you look up the road, the middle of the screen, there'll be two riders that have attacked. Now, I'm happy for them to go away because the wattages they would have to push. You see there? They've attacked up the road. There's two riders up there. And then we're passing more riders here on the left. Look at them. We're passing like they're going still. They, the, you know, this, this bunch is fit. These guys are fucking fit. So there's two riders have attacked. I'm happy for them to go up the road because I'm looking down at my power meter and I know that the wattage they're putting out is not sustainable. So they're going to come back to us. See, there you go. They're in the hairpin there. They're two riders up the front. The watch they're pushing is too much. They're going to come back to us. So I'm, we're going to let them out there just sizzle a bit in the fry pan of no man's land. Just let them sizzle a bit. Just get them out there and sizzle. Sizzle their little legs with, with lactic acid. Just marinate that lactic. Just off the front, guys. Up the front. <laughs> That's the beauty of the power meter is I know it's impossible for them to stay out there for that long at that wattage. It's just not going to happen. And here we have a little acceleration. A little bunch is getting frisky again. The big guy here on the Cannondale. Look at him. He's a big guy. He's a big lad. He's a big lad. But he's got an incredible cardio system to be able to ride with us. This, we're almost seven minutes in the climb. He's still there. He has an extremely advanced cardio system. If this guy lost 30 kilos, he would be a fucking just... Inc it would be insane. So he's obviously gifted with extremely good genetics and has an extremely high pain tolerance. Fantastic effort by this guy. I'm not sure what his name is, but he's on the Kendall Evo and he's doing really well. He's about to pop off the back, but he's done very, very well to, to be able to stay this far at this wattage indicates very advanced fitness, very advanced fitness. And we can see here the pace is about to, there's a motorbike there, two motorbikes. Three motorbikes. You see the, the cadence of this right over front. This is Alan Gill, the Mavic Siriums. That cadence for me, a little bit slow. A little bit too hot, uh, low. He's losing power, but he's getting the torque. I would like to see the cadence up a bit, around 80. My cadence for this climb was 98. So when you have a low cadence of around 70, which I think ours is 60, 70, then your legs just get really... They fatigue quicker. They fatigue quicker. So spinning's the go. The pace, you can see the riders up the front getting frisky again. Getting frisky again. This guy, Candale Man, is about to lose contact. So we're going to move around him. And we're going to move up. We're going to move up. Now the pace is getting a little bit higher now because the guys are getting frisky. They can just bring these guys back. But there's no need to get too frisky because those guys are going to come back on their own accord. And now he's an acceleration. He's an acceleration. The tip for climbing fast is not to accelerate. The tip for climbing fast is to hold the same wattage. But these guys don't have power meters on. They're getting frisky. They're riding with emotion. So they put in a massive surge. And this is not the way to ride fast. The way to ride fast is smooth. But that's fine. This is all training. This is excellent training. Bit of a surge here. So I'm banging out around 550 watts here to get back on these guys. To get back on. They're sprinting up the climb. Sprinting, 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 sprinting. Power! powering up but it's not good for fast times because you build up lactate so we're back on the train again 
Now we've got a few riders here. They're trying to bring back the other guys. But now what's happened is the wattage has dropped back. But everyone's got their legs full of lactate. So what would have been a smarter move is if we just rode to power and just kept it constant instead of yo-yoing the pace. But because these lads don't have power meters, all they can do is ride to a motion. And if you ride to a motion, you're always going to ride slower because you're going to push too hard. You're going to push too hard and then you're going to have to slow down to recover. With power meter, you can pick your number and just fucking hold it. And that is the way to climb faster. That's why if all these guys had power meters on, they'd be shaving at least a minute off their Norton Summit time because they could just ride to power instead of riding to a motion and, and getting excited and attacking and slowing down and attacking and slowing down and just getting to the top of the climb with lots of lactate. So we're 10 minutes in, about five minutes left in this climb. The pace has slowed down again. Some guys are going to come back on me in a minute, but we're making a little bit of ground on the two escapees. And I'm, I'm happy with the power we're putting out now, so I'm, I'm going to sit back here and just and just watch it. Just sit back here and just chill and enjoy. The guy in front of me here on the Colonago, good cadence, pretty smooth pedaling of style. All these guys are pretty smooth. All these guys are very experienced. Many, 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 many years of cycling in their legs. Very experienced. We're about to pass another right on the left. These, this guy in the red must be thinking, those guys are on EPO. Look at them. They're zooming past. So you can see here the riders here, good cadence, smooth cadence, smooth pedaling action, doing well. The guy on the front there, he was on the back at the start, again the man to watch, very smart rider, but he's thinking alright guys I'm going to set the pace and we're going to ride up here, I'm going to ride it up here. So all these guys on fancy bikes, nice bikes, Norton Summit, Adelaide Australia, one of the most popular climbs in the world, temperature, it's about 15 degrees 15 degrees Celsius. And we're approaching the last hairpin on Norton Summit. Zooming around. Zooming around. It flattens off a bit here. And the speed goes up. You can see the cadence going up a little bit there. The last hairpin. This is where it normally gets pretty feisty. People get pretty frisky. Get excited because the, the last few minutes are approaching. So we're riding along here. The two guys, the two escapees are still up the road by about 15 seconds. But they're starting to fade because the lactate is starting to marinate in their muscles. The mitochondria efficiency is going down. Oh, here we go. Look at this. Little Chris Froome attack. Little Chris, little sneaky one. He's sitting in the saddle just zooming up. I'm on about 700 watts here trying to get him. He's zooming up. Look at that Chris Froome attack in the saddle. Very sneaky. Just right off the front. High cadence. About 120 cadence, 700 watts. Look at that. Just zooming up. <laughs> zooming up Chris Froome style very sneaky very that's a good way to attack is in the saddle it is very deceptive but it's very very effective very efficient look at that We're zooming up here zooming up here and on the brakes back on the tail of the two escapees passing a right on the left so now we're back with our two escapees that was a quick bridge across to the breakaway and now I can see the wattage is dropping right down because this guy here, he's a bit taxed, he's a bit gassed, because his his wattage was too much. Doing 700 watts at around 60 odd kilo, that's too much to bridge a gap. You're better off sitting around maybe 450, really. You're better off sitting probably around 350 and just cruising. So the pace is dropping down. I can sense everyone's fatigued. This is the time for me to say, guys, it's been nice riding with you, but I've got to get to the start line. I've got to get to the finish line, rather, and I've got to get there first. And no one's coming with me. So, <laughs> so I can see the wattage is coming down. The guys are getting fatigued. And now it's time for me to say sayonara. Sayonara, fellas. <laughs> it's time to go to the finish line for the Strava UCI points. So now I'm sitting on about 400 watts. I know I can hold this for a few minutes. And I know no one else is going to be able to hold it with me. So I'm just going to sit on this wattage. I'm not going to accelerate. I'm just going to hold it here. Just holding the wattage. And I notice that one guy is actually on my wheel. He's on my wheel now because I've got a little mirror, I can tell. So he's on my wheel. He's coming up. And he's catching me. He's on my wheel now. And I'm thinking, all right, I'm just going to hold the watts. And I'm going to let him come around me shortly and just see what condition he's in. I'm going to listen to his breathing. I'm going to look at my wattage. And I'm going to be able to estimate what wattage I have to do to make sure I get to the finish line before him. So I'm going to let him come around in a second. I'm just going to see if he's going to hold on. 
And it looks like he's holding on. You'll see him come around in a minute. So I'm going to slow the wattage up, pretend I'm fatigued, let him come around me. I'm going to drop the wattage back down to maybe 200 watts and let him come around. And I'm going to hunch my shoulders and pretend I'm really, really fatigued. So that will give him the, the mental permission. Here we go. He comes around me. And he's thinking, yep, Harley's done. He's toasted. That vegan diet's made him protein deficient. So he's putting the wattage up a bit. But I can tell he's pretty fatigued. His breathing's very loud. So I know all I have to do is snap it out to 800 watts and I'll beat the line in front of him. So the line's coming up. The sprint. He's in the hoods there, ready to sprint. And bam! It's vegan power. Vegan power for the win. Coming across the line first. And that's how you ride with a power meter. To perfection. To perfection. You don't ride with emotion. You ride with strategy. You ride with pure strategy. You pick your numbers. You learn your numbers. And then you hold your fucking numbers. And that's how you climb to win. Or that's how you do PBs. So today was very... The power was quite yo-yo-y. But excellent training and good fun. There's a the finish line there. Bam. First place.